Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two identical circles. One is blue and the other one is black and they intersect each other at two points F and G as you can see in this figure. And now we are going to calculate the value of X. In other words, this distance AB if the line segments BC is 1, CD is 3, and DE is 5. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here is our very first step. Let's focus on this blue circle and let's pretend that black circle is not there. So then we can see that we have these two chords AD and FG, they intersect each other at point C. And here is our intersecting chords theorem, A times B equal to C times D, where as you can see in this circle, we have a two intersecting chords, and this part A times part B equals to part C times part D. And now we are going to apply the same analogy for these intersecting chords inside this blue circle. And as we can see, I'm going to call this part AC, I'm going to call it A. This CD, I'm going to call this part B. This FC, I'm going to call C. And this CG, I'm going to call D. So therefore, let's go ahead and apply this intersecting chords theorem. In our case, A is X plus 1. I can write X plus 1, which is A, our case. And then B, in our case, is 3 times 3 equal to C times D. And as we can see that our AC is X plus 1 and CD is 3 units and FC in our case is C and CG is D. So therefore I am going to call this as an equation number 1. And here is our next step. Now this time we are going to focus on this black circle. And let's pretend that blue circle is not there. And now we can see that in this black circle these two chords BE and FG are intersecting each other at point C. And here is a intersecting chords theorem once again. A times B equal to C times D. And now let's apply the same analogy in our this problem on these two intersecting chords inside this black circle. As we can see this BC, I'm going to call this one lowercase a. This CE is, I'm going to call it B. This one over here, FC is C. And this CG is lowercase d. So let's go ahead and apply this uh, intersecting chords theorem to this our problem. So in our case, A in our case is 1. And in our case, B, as you can see, B is this going to be a 3 plus 5 is going to be 8. So I'm going to write down B is 8 equal to C and D are same thing. I'm going to write just C, D. And once again, B, C in our case is 1. C, E is 8. And on this side, F, C is C and C, G is D. So now let's simplify this equation. 1 times 8 is going to be 8. So C, D turns out to be 8. Now let's go ahead and substitute CD equals to this 8 in our equation number 1 which is right here. So we are going to get this 3 times x plus 1 and we are going to substitute this CD by 8. Let's go ahead and simplify. Let's distribute. 
So this becomes 3x plus 3 equals to 8. Let's move this 3 on the other side. So we got 3x equals to 8 minus 3. So 3x turns out to be 5. Let's divide both sides by 3. So that means our x value turns out to be 5 over 3. So thus our x value turns out to be a 5 third and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.